Hi, today we are going to see about referential integrity constraint. For this, I am having two tables like employee details table and department table. In this employee details, employee ID, employee name and department ID three columns are there. Here department ID is a foreign key over here and this is also a primary key in a department table. With this department table which is referring to this employee table, if, if I want to delete any particular row in a department table, like I want to delete like uh, employee ID, department ID with one, but actually this department table is referring to uh, another lab, another table like employee details. If I try to delete this one, this this doesn't allow so that it is actually it is referring to another table that row that employee is having that department ID. In that case, we'll get an error. See if I if I try to delete a department with ID one here, we, I'll uh, see. Let me try if I'll get an error stating that it is be conflicted with a reference constraint for this uh, for this actually it has a uh, three type like uh, three ways are there that is like a uh, default value we can insert a default value in that one or null values we can insert and and the other option is cascade this is the three options that we are having to do this uh, this procedure that we can delete that particular ID in department and that whichever the referencing that department that uh, ID that department value can be set as a default values also for this actually I'm having employee details table I have added a default constraint that is like whatever the default value department ID is Whenever we try to remove a particular a particular ID in department table, that particular value will be automatically inserted a default value in the employee details table. See, for this, what we have to do is actually it is a in employee in the employee details. So if you select decide, right click on this, and if you select design, we will get this window. Okay, in this, if I right click on this relationships. Here we have insert and update specification. In by default, it is a no action. Well, it, it specify no actions. In this, if you set a default value and close it, and then if we save this, what does it happen? Whatever we try to delete, like department ID equal to one, we want to delete that value, which is our it is referring to an employee detail. That value will be replaced with a default value of five. So if I if here I'm going to try now, the command will be executed successfully. Now if I see this. See whatever department ID with one has been row has been deleted in department table and whatever the values that are there here referring is that they are replaced with the default value 5. Here I have given it as a default value 5. See this is how I altered the table and this 5 has been replaced in this. The other thing the next option that we are having is a null value that we can assign a null value to those those department ids see if the same thing select department id relationships insert and update here we can set null close save this okay and then next what we have if i try to delete the rows with two all the values will be set to a null values See here what we can do, we can re we have removed that one. See the department ID with two has been that row has been deleted and the then that particular row which, which has having reference to in employee details has been replaced with the null values. This is how we can replace that to those values. And the third thing is the cascading option. That what does this cascading option means? Nothing but the values the that referencing values have the See, well now I have done it there is cascading if I try to delete this employee department ID with 3 whatever the department ID with the 3 with employee ID 3 see I have only one this employee details will be deleted that means that particular ID department ID with 3 if we select cascading option then the particular whole row will be deleted in the employee details also see if I select now if I select to delete with this See one row has been selected. 
See the word uh, three has been department ID three has been deleted, and the, the tenth row that is with which is having the department ID three that whole row the data in, of that particular employee details has been deleted. The, this is what we have seen today. Like it is a referential integrity constraint. Uh, actually, this is what we have seen for today these are of three types default that we can do it by three type default null and cascade options are there through which we can delete that particular referencing data how we can replace that values with an default values and null values and how to delete that particular row this is what we have seen for today thank you